Hi, so this is the first video for the second lesson about proving new trig identities. So I've only got two trig identities this year. Next year, I've got like a million. But I'm just using these. Now, generally, what I do with a proof is I start with one side and I work to the other. And I start with a side that I can do the most with. So the left-hand side, if you look, I can do loads with that. So the left-hand side is sine theta plus cos theta, all squared. And then sine theta minus cos theta, all squared. I want to make that equal to 2. So if I expand the brackets, I've got sine squared theta. I've got 2 sine theta cos theta. And I've got cos squared theta. Then, what else have I got here then? So if I do this one, I've got sine squared theta. This time I've got minus 2 sine theta cos theta. And then I've got cos squared theta. So all I've done is just expand both those brackets. What you notice though, is that the 2 sine theta cos theta cancels. And I've got 2 lots of sine squared theta plus two lots of cos squared theta, which is nice, because it's two lots of sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. And I know that if I use sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is one, my left hand side is two times one, so my left hand side is two. And if you look, that's exactly what I wanted. Now here's what I do is a little bit extra. So I say, okay, my left hand side is equal to 2. That's where it is. So then I'm going to write down that my right hand side is equal to 2. They're both the same, aren't they? Which is what I wanted. So then I've got left hand side equals right hand side. Therefore, and then I'll just write out the question again. It's massively going over the top, but there's absolutely no confusion with what I need to do. Uh, let's make it cost then. There. So it messed with your head a little bit, but they're actually quite nice. Right, so let's have a look at this one. Prove that. So I need to choose my side. I know that tan is sine over cos. So I've been thinking in my head. So if I change tan into sine over cos, I'd have a sine squared on the top with a cos on the bottom. And then I could change the sine squared into 1 minus cos squared, and then split it up. So I can actually get from the left to the right. But, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to go from left to right. The completing pack goes right to left. But I'm going to go left to right. So that's sine theta, tan theta. So I'm going to make tan theta. So, uh, so I'm going to use sine theta over cos theta. So the left hand side is sine squared theta over cos theta. If you don't like that, just think about things like 3 times 4 all over 2. It's the same as 3 times 4 over 2. It's the same as 3 over 2 times 4. So that's kind of like my, my algebraic thought process in what I'm doing. There. Right, if sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1, then sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared. So I'm changing the top line into 1 minus cos squared theta all over cos theta. Split it up as two separate fractions in the same way that if you had 3 plus 1 all over 6, it's 3 over 6 plus 1 over 6. Uh, so I've got 1 over cos theta minus cos squared theta over cos theta. The cos squared theta and the cos theta cancel, and I'm left with... that one there. And you've done it. I'm done. So then just for absolute clarity, the right hand side is 1 over cos theta minus cos theta. So my left hand side is equal to my right hand side. Therefore, 
uh, oh, what's the question now? Sine theta. I like doing this. Who doesn't like a nice bit of algebra? That's what I like there. Cos theta. Down. So that's two examples. This is another one. That's all I need another. Surely. Yay, there is one. And we'll do this one as well. Well, maybe not actually. Oh, look at that, it's a difference of two squares. Is it a difference of two squares up there? So if I had like x squared minus y squared, that's the same as x plus y, x minus y, I do know. Uh, yeah. But my x is a cos squared, and my, it's, like a, it's like a disguised quadratic, that my boy. Right, let's go with it then. So left hand side is cos to the fourth theta minus sine to the fourth theta. Or then cos squared theta. I'm going to use the difference of two squares. So my x is the same as cos squared. Uh, so I've got cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. And cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. So that's all over cos squared theta. Oof, I can see it's coming already now. So the sine squared plus cos squared, that's 1. So my left hand side is, is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta all over cos squared theta. In my head I can see this if I split it. I've got cos squared theta over cos squared theta minus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. That cancels down to 1. Now here's the bit you've got to be okay with. So tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. So tan squared theta is sine squared over cos squared. So that's where you want your tan squared comes from. And that's it. Got it. So right hand side is 1 minus tan squared theta. The left hand side equals the right hand side. Therefore, uh, what was it? Oof, you know, that's quite a tough one. I might go through that in class. Uh, but that's, that's interesting. With these questions, you can do them in like three lines, five lines. You did it wrong, though. You did it in three or four pages. So there you go. Have fun with that video. You've got some consolidation there we can do in class as well. Bye-bye.